Welcome to MS SQL Server AppyWorks for Zoho CRM. MS SQL Server AppyWorks for Zoho CRM is a Zoho CRM extension that integrates Zoho CRM and MS SQL Server to automate your workflow like export data, import data, and view data directly from Zoho CRM. Before proceeding with the automation types, let us quickly install our extension from Zoho Marketplace. If you have already installed, you can skip this part of the video. Go to Zoho Marketplace and search for MS SQL Server AppyWorks in the search bar as shown here. You will be navigated to the extension page and now proceed to install. Accept all permission to proceed the installation procedure as shown here. Click on Confirm and wait for the extension to be installed. Once the installation is completed, now we can go to the MS SQL Server AppyWorks tab by clicking on the three dots present as shown here. Click on Start Automating button. It will redirect you to the Zoho CRM Connection Setup page. Provide a name for your Zoho connection and click on Authorize with Zoho CRM button. Choose your organization and after that click on Accept button to create a connection with Zoho CRM. As you can see that the connection is created successfully. In order to create a new service, click on the Create New Service button. Give a name to your automation service and choose your automation type. By default, the automation service is selected to export. So let's see how export automation service work. Click on Next button and proceed to configure Zoho CRM. Choose a Zoho CRM module and click on Next button to configure Microsoft SQL Server. You can either choose from an existing connection or you can create a new one by clicking on the plus icon present at the right end of the connection field. In order to create a new connection, please enter all the required credentials and click on Connect button to establish the connection. Once the connection is successfully established, choose an object or the source table from MS SQL Server database. Also select Create as our action in the Action Selection field and then click on Next button to proceed to Mapping section. While few fields can be intelligently mapped, the remaining can be mapped manually by clicking on the Add button. Here we have mapped ID with ID, first underscore name with first name, last underscore name with last name, email with email, phone with phone and department with department. Once the fields are mapped successfully, let us now move on to the next step by clicking on the next button. In the final step, you can enable or disable the service configuration based upon your need. The first switch is enabled for automatic export of contacts upon creation or updation of any existing contact in Zoho CRM module, and the second switch is for manual export of selected contacts. We will see more about manual export in later part of the video. Finally, let's save the service. Let us now go to our contacts table in SQL Server database, and as we can see, there are six available contacts. Now let's go back to Zoho CRM and try creating a new contact. Once the required details are entered, click on Save button to create the contact. Let's go back to our MS SQL Server table and check whether the newly created contact is exported there. After refreshing the records here, we can see the newly created contact is exported successfully. Let us now see how we can manually export specific contacts from Zoho CRM module. Let's go back to our contact list in Zoho CRM contact module. Now, select the contact to be exported and click on the SQL Server AppyWorks button as shown. 
Once the AppyWorks configuration is loaded, you can execute the required service from the available list of services. On successful execution of service, let's go back to our SQL Server table and check whether the selected contact is exported there. After refreshing the records here, we can see the selected contact from Zoho CRM contact module has been exported successfully. Manual export is possible from two more places, one from contact listing area and also from contact details page as is shown here. Let's try to export one more contact manually from contact details page. On successful execution of service, let's go back to our SQL Server table and check whether the selected contact is exported there. On refreshing the records here we can see the particular contact from Zoho CRM contact module has been exported successfully. Now, let's navigate back to service listing page and have a look at one more type of automation service called import. Give a name to your automation service and this time choose import as your automation type. Click on next and move to configure Zoho CRM and do the same way as we have already done earlier. In order to configure MS SQL Server connection, we will choose the previously created connection this time. We will choose contact as our object and proceed to mapping. In mapping section, we will map the related fields as we have done earlier during export service creation and once the mapping is complete, we will move to setup data filter. In this step, we need to set up the data filter, here you can preview the data and choose only the records which is to be imported. Click on plus button in order to add filters as shown here. Filters are optional, in case no filter is set it is supposed to fetch all data from the SQL Server table. Once the filter is applied, click on preview data button to fetch the record from data source. Here you can see that the filtered data from MS SQL Server table has been displayed. By default few of the records are selected, we can select the records based upon our need. Here we can see two types of import options available. Through Quick Import, we can instantly import the records, and we can also schedule our import based upon interval or at some specific time. Let's perform Quick Import at first. On running the import service successfully let's click on next and finally save the service. Now, let us check whether the selected contact is reflecting in our Zoho CRM contacts list. On refreshing the list, here we can see the newly imported record. Let us now see how scheduled import works. Let's go back to our service configuration page and schedule an import. Click on Preview Data without a filter this time and let us choose Scheduled Import option. We are going to import at a specific time here. Enter the date and time of import. Now click on Next and finally save the service. On reaching the specific time, let's check whether the contacts have been imported to Zoho CRM contact list. Here we can see that the contacts that were scheduled to be imported is successfully listed here in Zoho CRM. Finally let us look at one more automation service called View. We are in the service listing page, click on Create button to create new View service. Give a name to your automation service and this time choose View as your automation type. Click on Next and move to configure Zoho CRM and do the same way as we have already done earlier. In order to configure Microsoft SQL Server connection we will choose the previously created connection and we will choose Contact as our object and proceed to set up connecting filter. In order to set up connecting filter, you can follow the same way as we did earlier while importing the contacts. Connecting filter is again optional. Here we are proceeding without a filter this time. 
finally save the service and let's navigate to contact details page to see how it works. Here you can see that we have a widget for MS SQL Server Appy Works. After loading, you can see your view services, click on service to visualize the data. As you can see it fetched the data from SQL Server table. So these are all kinds of automation service that we offer from MS SQL Server AppyWorks extension for Zoho CRM. Hope you enjoyed the intelligent integration and hyper-automation capability of AppyWorks on Zoho CRM. Thanks for watching.